worms. In this edition of 3 Minute 3 Tip Tuesday, I'm going to be discussing the three most common parasites and what you can use to control them naturally. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. You can click the link in the box below for more information. Poodle, what is going on? What is it? What is it? So nobody really likes worms. We are putting three minutes on the clock starting now. The most common worm that we see in vet practice is this, the roundworm. Toxicara, pretty common in our dogs and our cats. Typically, we're you know, prescribing some type of conventional meds, such as Pyran, etc. Maybe Revolution, some of the new topicals come in combination. But you can use some stuff holistically if you want. So I've talked a lot about this. <laughs> DE or diatomaceous earth. So diatomaceous earth, it comes from the microscopic skeletons. Uh, these little plankton that used to be uh, in the ocean, which is now since receded. And it looks, comes out of the earth, looks like a fine white powder. I'll show you this here. I've used it a ton. I've used it on my lettuce to treat slugs. I have used it to help treat fleas. But also internally, and here it is here. See this? There it is. It's just this fine white powder. So there is the food grade diatomaceous earth, which is the kind you want to look for. We're looking at animal doses, uh, about a half a teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight twice daily. Easiest thing to do is mix it up in a bit of fluid, something tasty, make it easy for your dog or cat to consume. So if I were to treat tulip for roundworms, I'd be treating her, you know, about a half of this teaspoon. A bit more, so about a half a teaspoon twice a day. I would add a little bit of green tea, make it more palatable, maybe a bit of honey, mix that in. And I'd be treating for, I would treat, be treating her for seven days on, seven days off, and seven days on again. Okay, here it is. Who wants to have some diatomaceous earth? Yum. Mm. There aren't clear regimens for, tr for using uh, diatomaceous earth as far as treating for parasites in our animals. Um, but typically, you're trying to sort of match their life cycle. You know that for the most part, it's killing the adults, it's not killing the eggs. So you're treating the adults, the larvae that are in there, give them a chance, the eggs a chance to hatch and treat them again. And 21 days is a pretty typical parasite life cycle. This guy here, he's a bit flatter. He is a tapeworm. The tapeworm life cycle is slightly different. Um, part of that life cycle involves a flea, ingesting a flea getting a tapeworm the, you know, an animal is a, is a secondary host. As far as treating tapeworms though, so it's very common, you know, where cats have fleas, they swallow them, you see these little, looks like grains of rice coming out of your cat and your dog. He or she probably has a tapeworm. As far as a natural treatment, this one actually has some studies behind it. It's using this, it's like pumpkin seed. That's it. Pumpkin seed, came from our co-op, banana to my smoothies. Also can treat our tapeworms, huh. You want to make sure they're ground up because I think if you feed the whole seed, it's going to you know, just go right through your dog or cat, be undigested. Pretty typical dose, about one teaspoon, which is about here, for 10 pounds of body weight, uh, twice a day. Pretty typical dose, about one teaspoon, which is about here, for 10 pounds of body weight, uh, twice a day. The tapeworm doesn't have eggs. It's not the same way as treating the roundworms, which have larvae and eggs, and they keep repeating the life cycle. If you treat the tapeworms, they're dead. So I would be treating, you know, twice a day, somewhere between 10 to 14 days. So crush them up. There we go, Tula. Kind of crushed. Maybe I want to use a coffee grinder. Let's scoop some into my measuring amount. So there's it's a teaspoon. You'd be getting one of these twice a day, Tula. And hmm, here we go. Who wants some? Ah, mmm. Okay. <laughs> good girl. There's the poodle willingly eating. Oh, good girl, that's good for you. Mmm, pumpkin seeds. They're killing all those evil little tapeworms. They may be 
floating inside of you. Mmm, good girl. The third parasite I want to discuss is a little protozoan parasite. Um, pretty, pretty common cause of infectious diarrhea in our pets called Giardia. Also, otherwise known as beaver fever. So it's a hard one to diagnose. There's a picture of what it looks like. You know, I, I've maybe seen it once or twice, or maybe three times uh, on the slide itself. That's a hard little critter to see. Um, you can do secondary fecal tests that your vet may or may not send away uh, to check for Giardia. The conventional medication works okay, but there are, it's not always an option and some of you guys want to try something more natural. And there is something that's once again got some research behind it. The con conventional medication, metronidazole uh, or flagyl, doesn't always work. Some animals have side effects, you know, they can have neurologic side effects. Why not, especially if your vet's not sure, why not try something natural? This one, researchers, they studied garlic and cinnamon together as a holistic alternative, finding it to be actually effective, which is awesome. When I was sort of extrapolating back as far as doses, we'd be looking you know, somewhere about a quarter of a teaspoon of this, here, just crushed garlic, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon per 10 pounds of body weight daily. Try this here, I'm gonna put here, a bit of this garlic powder. We have a quarter of a teaspoon. Here's a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Here's a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's actually gonna smell kind of good. There it is here. Tula's measured daily dose to help treat this little protozoan parasite, Giardia. We're gonna mix that up. Actually, it smells kind of nice. Cinnamon smells awesome. And there, there would be about our little 20 pound dog would get. Half a teaspoon of this concoction daily. You could obviously divide that, feed it morning and night, mix it into a regular food. Okay, I'm not gonna make you try it too, but there it is. Garlic, cinnamon, we're treating Giardia or beaver fever. Thanks so much for watching the edition of Veterinary Secrets. If you'd like to do so, I encourage you to get a copy of my free book. Click the link box below.